Hello again everyone and welcome back to Leave the Trail. If you're liking these kind of videos and you want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. Today we're exploring the largest city of New Zealand's South Island, Christchurch. The Riverside Market is without a doubt one of the highlights of Christchurch. It's an indoor, centrally located market, boasting food stalls and cool little small businesses, and it's absolutely amazing. Walking around, you're rewarded by not only the amazing architecture, but the great smells and sights of all these crafts and individual food stalls. If you're hungry or have the munchies, this is the place to go. Well, there is no shortage of variety here. I think I counted four coffee shops, not to mention food stalls, everything from Mexican to Vietnamese to more New Zealand kind of barbecue and grill. And on top of that, you have to visit the candy and cookie shops. They can't be missed while you're here. Though I will warn you about the coffees, a couple coffee shops have a three shot standard. So three shots of coffee standard. So definitely tell them. They will ask, but just make sure you're not getting three shots and a little one if that's not what you want. Otherwise, you might not sleep for the next time you come back to Christchurch. <laughs> Botanic gardens have always been one of my favorite features of the city because they give you a quick reprieve from all the city noise and the busy streets. The Christchurch Botanic Gardens is especially good because it's so close to the actual downtown of Christchurch. I think from the Riverside Market, it's only about 700 meters. Great little park, has to be checked out. Today we're on New Regent Street, which is one of the heritage areas of here in Christchurch, located just on the north end of the city. All the pastel buildings here are from the Spanish Mission Era and really remind me of Fremantle in Western Australia. If any of you have been, you know that the main street in Frio is pretty much the same style and of those pastel kind of colors, which is really, really cool. On New Regent Street, you'll find boutique shops and cool little bars and cafes, which really have their own kind of flair and spin to them, which is pretty awesome. And one other cool thing is that the Christchurch tram comes right through here, right down the street. So while you're having your coffee or your drink or whatever here, the tram will go right by, which is a cool little flair of the area. There's two things you'll instantly notice walking around Christchurch here. One is the amount of construction. Due to the 2011 earthquakes, pretty much everything is still under construction. They're still rebuilding and there's still a lot of construction just outside the city center, including the cathedral and all the area around there. But another thing you'll notice is this combination of very new, very new looking and clean looking buildings and some buildings that are pretty much falling down. And that's just because of, again, the earthquake and there are certain parts of the city that are in a little bit of disregard and they're still working on rebuilding them and bringing them back to Christchurch. So after a few days walking around Christchurch, I can say that it does have a lot to offer. 
from bars to restaurants to cafes and cool shops and stuff like that. But I would be remiss if I didn't talk about, you know, the elephant in the room, and that is that once you get outside the dead center of Christchurch, once you get out of the four block radius of the center, it does start to deteriorate and it does start to get a bit of a rougher, not so pretty looking city. Outside of the center, which is very small, it's only maybe four to six blocks of the center and the botanic gardens, once you get to the east side or the south side of that, for example, where I'm staying, it's quite industrial. There's a lot of just um, apartment buildings and industrial complexes, warehouses, stuff like that. And the east end all the way pretty much to the ocean, in my opinion almost, is a bit rough looking and it's not exactly pretty and to be honest, kind of looks deteriorated. So I feel like that's important to say, just so you know what I th my impression of Christchurch is, what do you think it actually is? It is pretty when it is in the center. It is a city worth visiting, but it's not somewhere I would think I would like to live. But that doesn't mean that it's not somewhere to you. Maybe you guys like big cities much more than I do. But in my opinion, I don't think Christchurch is the prettiest city once you leave the center. That being said, I do think it has a lot to offer. Like I said, bars, restaurants, cafes, cool shopping spots, and it's an excellent place to stop for a few days on your New Zealand road trip. All right, that's it for me, guys. I hope you found that informative. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you so much again for watching. If you do like this and you want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.